Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Narish Technologies and today's session I am explaining about implicit cursor. So, what is implicit cursor and what is the importance of implicit cursor? In PLSQL, cursors are two types. So, one cursor is explicit cursor, one cursor is implicit cursor. So, one is explicit and another one implicit cursor. So, cursor which is declared by user is called explicit cursor and cursor declared by oracle is called implicit cursor. So, the one uh, declared by user is called explicit cursor, the cursor declared by oracle server is called implicit cursor. So, so in this session, so I will explain about the implicit cursor. So, when oracle declared this cursor, okay, oracle declared this implicit cursor and immediately after execution of DML command. So, after executing insert command, update command, delete command, so Oracle declared this cursor. Okay. So, immediately after execution of DML command, so this cursor is declared. What is the name of this cursor? The name of this cursor is SQL. This cursor name is SQL. So, when this is declared, this is declared immediately after execution of DML command like insert command, update command, delete command. So, this is declared. So, what is the purpose of this implicit cursor? How it is useful? And this implicit cursor gives the status of last DML. Okay? This implicit cursor gives the status of last DML, whether last DML is successful or failed. So, using this implicit cursor, we can come to know whether last DML is successful or failed. Then, like, like explicit cursor, implicit cursor is also having some attributes. One is percentage pound, percentage pound. So, this returns true false, okay. percentage pound returns true false. When returns true, returns true if uh, last DML is successful and returns false if last DML is unsuccessful and true if DML is successful and false if DML is unsuccessful. And another one percentage not found. This also returns true false, but when returns true, true if last DML is unsuccessful and false if last DML is successful. This is quite opposite. Next percentage row count, percentage row count, and this percentage row count returns the number of records affected by the last DML. This percentage row count returns the number of records affected by last DML. So, with the last uh, uh, DML affected how many rows? For example, if there is a delete command, delete command deleted how many rows? If there is a update command, update command updated how many rows? If there is an insert command, insert command inserted how many rows? So, this is what the percentage row count returns. So, one is percentage found returns true or false. If DML is successful, returns true. If the DML is unsuccessful, returns false. Percentage not found also returns true or false. True, if DML is unsuccessful and false, DML is successful. And percentage row count returns the number of records affected by last DML. Okay? So, these are the three cursor attributes. So, then uh, how to use these attributes? So, these attributes are used with cursor name like what is the cursor name is SQL then how to use these attributes SQL percentage pound and SQL percentage row count. Okay? So, this, this attributes are used with cursor name. So, the cursor name is SQL, SQL percentage pound, SQL percentage not found, SQL percentage row count. Now, so, I will take one example. So, with that example, we will understand the importance of implicit cursor. Okay, then. So what I'm doing is, I'm taking one example. So in this, I'm taking a variable for employee number, emp dot emp nmo percentage type. Next, so I input employee number ampersand emp nmo. 
I want to delete this employee record. So here what I did, I entered employee number. So that employee number is assigned to this variable. I want to delete this employee record. And to delete this employee record, so execute this statement. Delete from emp where employee number equals to venbo and say say commit. Next what and other commit is like okay leave it. Uh, so I'm I'm I entered some employee number and deleting the record from emp table and the operation is what committed now so i'll run this program i'm executing this program so so it is asking for employee number i just entered some employee number 7369 so this program is executed entered value for this vnoy 7369 delete from emp where employee number equal to 7369 so this query deletes employee record whose employee number equal to 7369 and the operation is committed. Let us see this now. So PLSQL procedure successfully completed. That means 7369 employee record is deleted. Okay. So this employee record is successfully deleted from EMP table. For example, again I am running this program. Again give forward slash. If you give forward slash previous program is executed then so again it is asking employee number now this time I entered some employee number 9090 so this time I entered employee number 9090 but is this there in the EMP table no it is not there in the EMP table then what happens you entered some employee number which is not there in the table and what happens if this if this program gives any error let us test check it then yeah. but it is not giving any error so still it is showing PLSQL procedure successfully completed. Okay. The first time I entered 7369, the record is deleted from EMP table. So this record is there in the table and the record is deleted. And second time I entered some employee number 9090, which is not there in the table. I entered some employee number 9090, it is not there in the table, but still it is showing PLSQL procedure successfully completed. So the confusion for user is whether the record is deleted or not deleted because in both cases it is showing PLSQL procedure successfully completed then the problem for user is so uh, whether the record is deleted or not deleted. So once that operation is completed I want to display proper message to the user if the record is deleted I want to display record successfully deleted if the record is not deleted I want to display so no such employee or something like that okay after deleting the record successfully I want to print a message record deleted if the record is not deleted because we entered some number which is not there in the table so record is not deleted then I want to print a message so no such employee so then how to handle this case so this can be handled with the help of implicit cursor so I can handle this with the help of implicit cursor so because what I said implicit cursor is mainly used to know the status of last DML. So implicit cursor gives the status of last DML whether last DML is successful or failed. Now let us come to this one next year. So now check whether uh, delete is successful or not. Let, let us test whether delete is successful or not. Then how to know whether delete is successful or not? So there is a attribute called percentage found. The percentage found returns to if delete is successful. Otherwise, percentage found if delete is successful, percentage found returns true. If delete is unsuccessful, percentage found returns false. Now let's let's write that condition if. So how to use these attributes? And that attributes are used with cursor name. So what the cursor name is SQL. SQL percentage found. Then what? So if SQL percentage found, so when this will be true, so when this will be true, this will be true if delete is successfully executed. If the delete operation is successful, SQL percentage found returns true. If the delete is unsuccessful, SQL percentage found returns false. Then if this is true, I want to print a message that record deleted successfully. Then so what I am doing is dvms underscore output dot put underscore line record deleted now suppose else else so when it comes to else part if sql percentage found is false then it comes to else part in the else part i want to print a message 
So, when SQL percentage is found, it is false if delete is unsuccessful. Why delete is unsuccessful? Because you entered some employee number that is not there in the table, then that case I want to print a message that no employee exists or employee not exists. Then, so DBMS output put line, just I want to print a message no such employee. So, end it, okay. Then, if SQL percentage found is true, so this written true means delete is successful and I am printing a message record deleted next. If SQL percentage found false, when it false then it comes to else part. So, when it returns false, it returns false if delete is unsuccessful then this returns false. Then it comes to else part and printing the message no such employee. So, if delete is successful I am printing a message record deleted. If delete is unsuccessful, I am printing a message no such employee. So, let me run the program. So, this is where exactly the implicit cursor is useful in real time. Okay. Then, let us go and run this program. So, before running this, I am setting the server output to on. So, enter employee number 7499. So, 7499 record is there in the table. Then, so, like you entered some employee number. So, that employee number is 7499, it is there in the table and delete from EMP where employee number equal to 7499, the record is deleted. Then what is SQL percentage found returns true? When returns true, then so printing the message record deleted. Suppose now I entered some employee number, so 9090, I entered some employee number 9090, but this is not there in the table. So, this delete is unsuccessful, SQL percentage found it is false, then it comes to else part and prints no such employee. Let us see this no such employee. So, this is what where exactly implicit cursor is useful to know the status of last DML. So, thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe to Narayshati. Thank you.